You guys have been asking me for a while to test the GTX 970 versus the R9 390 and today I'm going to be putting these two bad boys head to head and we're going to see who comes out on top. So for a while I've been asked what is the best graphics card for around $300 and today I'm going to be testing the GTX 970 G1 from Gigabyte. I'm gonna be putting that head on with the MSI R9 390 on the AMD side. So without further ado, let's get on with the benchmarks. I'm just playing with you. Let's get something a little heavier going. So now we're done and dusted with the benchmarks, it's time to talk about a recommendation and which one you should buy in which situation because I both believe they're very valid purchases. Especially if you bought one, don't be disappointed that you didn't buy the other. I would say that both these cards are phenomenal for $300. They're actually the real sweet spot card at the moment. And also I will add on that that if you are a pure gamer, and all you're doing is nothing but gaming and power is pretty cheap where you live, I would give the slight edge to the R9 390, especially with that eight gigabytes of GDDR5 on board and especially with the rumors that are going around that DX12 titles are gonna be more favored towards AMD's architecture. So now onto the Nvidia side and where this card has its advantages and that is that it uses less power than the AMD card. Now, depending on where you live, that may be a factor for you. I'd say if you have cheap power, it should be a non-factor. But if you're in a country like me where you're paying 35 cents a kilowatt hour, it could be a factor that adds up over time. However, keep in mind there are other benefits to using the Nvidia card, like shadow play and CUDA cores, two things that I personally as a YouTube content creator couldn't live without. So in conclusion, I will reiterate though, both these cards are phenomenal for the money and I couldn't see how you would be disappointed if you bought one over the other. However, I will say in closing that the temperatures on both these solutions that I have here today were phenomenal. Both these cards hit around 63 degrees, 62 degrees, and they were pretty quiet whilst doing so in a 20 degree uh, ambient condition controlled environment. And also one final note I will add about the AMD card was when I was testing it in America, the overclocks were not stable and then one person mentioned in the comments that this is most likely because of a power supply and, I've, and I was surprised because I was using a 1000 watt NZXT power supply but sure enough when I came home back to my studio here and I tested it with the 630 watt Enamax uh, Revolution XT which is a lot lower than a 1000 watt power supply it ran really stable really smooth so I was really impressed but one thing to come out of that is make sure you be careful with what power supply you get Anyway guys, that's it from me. If you like this video, then please hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech Yes City. And I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.